you're going to go to the command prompt and we're going to SSH to commsci. Uh, that's secure shell commsci. And to do it, we're going to type in SSH morali at commsci.lu.edu. Of course, you're going to type in your, your user ID that you were given. And you're going to specify that we're going to reach the SSH daemon on port 1000. And I'm going to press enter. And I'm going to get the password for my account. And I just typed in my password. And so, great, we're now at the dollar prompt and we're at a Unix machine. If you want to exit out of this, you can log out or you can just as well type in exit. Either of them will get you back to our local machine command prompt. I'm assuming you have now logged into a Unix-based machine and uh, we're going to learn some basic commands for Unix. So like DOS, right, if you wanted to list out the files in the current directory, we would actually type in, instead of DIR, we're going to type in LS. It stands for long listing. Um, if you want a more descriptive listing, you can say LS. And this is called flag L. You notice it whizzes by and we have a lot. If you want to clear the screen, right, so we can see what we're doing, we can type in clear and that'll clear that. Now, let's try to create a file and we can use this by using the command nano and I'm going to type in one.txt and this is the nano editor. So I can type in hello, I can move around, fix things, and after I finish, right, I can hit Control X to exit and save. And I'll say yes. File name sounds good. Enter and now if I type in LA flag L somewhere in here you should see one dot txt. Well, here we go. Here it is. If you want to change directories, we're going to use the cd command. And uh, if you look carefully, there is a work subdirectory in my home directory. Okay. And we can just type in cd work. And now in the work subdirectory. If you want to know what directory I'm in relative to the root, in Unix there's only one root. So I can use the pwd command, present working directory. There we go. Now, let's say I'd like to go to the root directory of this system. I can just say cd slash root. And notice in Windows the slash is actually a backslash instead of a forward slash. But uh, just be wary when you're using switching between Windows and Unix commands. Now I'm going to type in ls flag l. ls. You'll notice that uh, when I give a listing it whizzes by so quickly that it's very difficult to recognize when to well, to pause. And we can actually delay this by piping the results to a new command called more. So I'm going to do ls flag l more. And notice we're only getting a page full at a time. If I hit the space bar, we get the next page of information. At any point, if you want to switch back to the home directory, your home directory, you can just say cd. And, uh, and just remember, in Windows, cd just prints out the current working directory. But cd in Unix always switches back to the home directory. Okay? So if I type in present working directory, you can see we're back in home. Now, let me list out a long listing of the file one, and uh, I'm going to hit the tab to autofill. And notice tab still works just like in Windows. And now I want to copy this file. When I want to copy this file, I can use the cp command to copy 1.txt to another file. Let's call it 2.txt. It's a cp command. Now if I type in ls flag l, and I want to see all of the txt files, you'll notice that there is a file called 1.txt and now 2.txt. If you want to remove a file, in Unix it's the remove command. So I'm going to remove the file 2.txt. If you want to rename the file, you can actually use the move command to move the file to another file name. In this case, we'll just call it 
another.txt. And I'm going to start anything with a txt extension, and there we go, another.txt. If I want to make directory, just like in Windows, it's mkdir, and I'll make a directory called one. And let me pipe it out to more so you can see this a little bit better. You notice that one is a directory, and you can tell it's a directory because there's a D. File names, right, usually don't have a D, but a D specifies a directory. Hit the space bar to continue. Go to CD1. No files in this current directory. I'm going to CD back to the parent directory. Now, to remove a directory, it's RMDIR, just exactly the same as in Windows. I can say RMDIR, and voila. Okay, so we now have some basic commands that we can work in Unix. And I'm now going to log out by typing in logout or exit. <laughs>